Hello, today I'm reviewing the Freya dress which is in the book Stretch by Tilly Wong. If you like this video and want to see more content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So just a few details on the pattern, so as I mentioned it's the Freya dress in the book Stretch. I've made the dress version but there's also a sweater version. I've also gone with the variation of having a cow neck as you can see. So there's also a mock neckline one, which I think all the other variations feature in the book. Also, I made a size four. So the fabric I've used for this is actually from Fabric Land in the UK. So I think I got this, uh, I don't know, at least a couple of years ago, if not more. So it's been sitting in my stash for quite a while. I was actually going to make a cocoa dress with it, which is quite a similar um, pattern to this one. Um, but in the end, I quite fancied the cow neck feature as I thought it would go well with this fabric. This fabric, so yeah, it's quite a stretchy knit actually, and I think if it's stretched too much, it might be a bit transparent. But apart from that, I really like it. I think it drapes nicely, and it's one that's really nice to layer up with tights. So in the book stretch, they've designed the patterns in the order of difficulty. So you start off with a BB skirt, um, which I've reviewed, well, I've reviewed the pinnacle version. Um, and there's also the Frankie t-shirt, which I've reviewed as well in the past. Um, this one's a few patterns on, so it is a bit more challenging than those two. Um, but I still wouldn't say it's, it's not achievable. So as I mentioned, it is quite like the Coco dress in the sense that it's a nice it's a similar shape. Obviously the cow neck is a different feature but I wouldn't say it's actually that difficult because you just stitch the two bits together um, and it sews on quite easily onto the neckline which um, adding a neckband is probably a lot more challenging than adding this cow neck. So I'm not sure if making the mock neckband is harder. I'll have to give it a go and find out. I've also mentioned in previous reviews on Tilly and the Buttons patterns they're really nice and straightforward. It's like someone's holding your hand as you go through the process. So yeah, it's really um, a nice pattern to follow. So the design and fit, again, it is similar to the Coco dress. So if you like that design, you'll probably like this pattern as well. I did find it's probably as short as the Coco dress. So they've kind of gone for a sort of 60s hem, if that makes sense. So. Um, it's probably shorter than I normally like because I didn't actually lengthen it on this, which normally I would. I'm not sure why I didn't this time. But saying that, I think it's fine with tights. I think I'll still get use out of it. I probably just won't wear it without tights, but then it's long sleeve, so I'm very likely to wear it when it's cold. I really like this uh, cam neck. It's a really nice long one. Um, it's, I think it adds a really nice detail. It'd probably be really nice in a plain fabric as well. Although saying that, I do like the look of the mock neckbands now, which I think would go really nicely with a pinafore layering up again in the winter. It's difficult to gauge the time taken just because it has actually been a bit of time since I made it, but I don't think it took more than a day to make. I did wait to hem though because I felt that this fabric needed to rest. So I left it a couple of days just to settle and then I double checked the hem and stitched it, which I'm really glad I did. Overall, I'm really pleased with this dress. It's one that I probably will only wear when it is really cold outside because I get hot quite easily and in Cornwall it's quite mild where we live so I don't often wear a lot of long sleeves so in that sense it's probably not as as good as some of the other patterns that I've made from the book just because I don't think I'm going to wear it as much as say the Frankie t-shirt or the BB pinafore but saying that you know if you live somewhere that's a lot colder this is going to be a lovely dress or sweater if you make the sweater version um, yeah, to just wrap up warm when it's cold outside or cold inside, depending what your heating's like. I found it enjoyable to make as well, which is always a bonus. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.